Birthday verses to a little girl by Lydia Sigourney. I do bethink me of a feathered babe to whom the gift of life did seem a toil, a tremble to take up, and of a care that tireless nurtured her by night and day, when it would seem as if a fainting breath must leave her bosom, and her fair blue eye sink neath its lids like some crushed violet. Six winters came, and now that self-same babe wins with a needle the appointed length of her light task, and runs with patient zeal the daily lesson, chasing on her map all climes and regions of a peopled earth. With tiny hands she guides the writer's quill to grave those lines through which we seldom speak, and poor sentiment towns the hymn at eve. She from the pictured page doth scan with tribes that revel in the air or cleave a flood around the wild, delightening much to know their various natures and their habits all, from the huge elephant to the small fly that liveth but a day, yet in the day is happy and outspread a shining wing, exulting in the mighty maker's care. She weeps that man should barb the monarch veil in his white ocean home, and won't the dolphin snare the pigeon, hasting to its nest to feed its young, and hunt the flying deer, and find a pleasure in the pain he gives. She tells the sweetly modulated tale to her young brother, and devoutly cheers at early morning, seated on his knee, her hoary grandsire from the Book of God, who meekly happy in his fourscore years, mourns not the dimness gathering at his side, but with a saintly kindness bows him down to drink from her young lip the law he loves. Fond, gentle child, who like a flower that hastes to burst its shelf, hath come so quickly forth for sweet companion, walking by my side. Thou, whom thy father loveth, and thy friends delight to praise, lift thy young heart to God, that whosoever doth please him in thy life, he may be perfect, and by his spirit's power, remove each germ of evil with the soul, and with brief discipline of time is o'er, may rise to praise him with an angel's song.